Good evening. A warning tonight for dog owners on Vancouver Island. Water test results confirm the blue-green algae that appeared at Elk Lake and Beaver Lake last weekend is toxic and can be potentially deadly to dogs, birds and fish. The Capital Regional District is advising pet owners to keep their animals leashed and out of the water. Kristen Robinson reports. What's the word? Is she going to be... I, th I think well everything, so yeah. Chad Lindenbach and his wife comfort their eight-month-old poodle, Charlie. She was rushed to the vet Thursday morning after Lindenbach learned the water she drank and swam in at Beaver Lake is contaminated with toxic blue-green algae. Freaked me out. I uh, took her to the truck right away and called my vet, and they uh, advised to bring her in immediately for treatment. They were going to have uh, the treatment ready to go when we got here. Charlie's mouth is black from the charcoal introduced to absorb any toxins and prevent them from being absorbed by her. The vet also induced vomiting and pumped her stomach. Yeah. We don't really know how much she ingested and, and exactly how fast it, you know, it's absorbed, so potentially quite quickly, so time will tell. Lyndon Bach was walking Charlie when his wife called to advise him of the toxic algae. He later saw a small sign posted. I did do a quick read of it because I was panicking to get my dog to the vet, but it did say that uh, there, there was an issue and that dogs shouldn't be allowed in the lake and that test results hadn't been confirmed and were coming back, so I just, it was, uh, it was freaky. After the blue-green algae appeared last weekend, the Capital Regional District put up warning signs Monday. Water quality testing confirmed it was toxic Wednesday. The lab is now examining more samples to determine the toxin level. We're looking to actually put a few more notices out in some more places. The signs are now being changed and to indicate that, you know, you know, there's uh, um, to stay out of the water. So it's similarly toxic to all of us. Blue-green algae is common at Elk and Beaver Lakes. Experts say nutrients from farms, septic fields and fertilizers produce it, and it's blooming in our warm winter but what turns some of it toxic is poorly understood. It has always formed blue-green bloom during summer months. Now, why are we seeing this during winter? This is now nutrient loading and climate change coming in action. What triggers toxin formation is still not very clear. What is clear is toxic blue-green algae, which vets say is actually cyanobacteria, can be extremely dangerous. Some cyanobacteria are relatively non-toxic and harmless. Others are extremely toxic and um, can cause you know, death due to liver failure and other issues within 12 to 24 hours of ingestion. Although the CRD has no confirmed reports of dogs becoming ill, the Linden Box didn't want to take any chances with Charlie. And even then they can't guarantee if your dog's going to survive. I wouldn't go anywhere near those lakes. 